Beauty coming back with another eye tutorial. Um, I'll be trying to do, I, I want to do that bright, you know, that little bright concealer. Um, I used to actually wear my concealer like that, like a long time ago, but um, everyone seems to be jumping on that back, back on the high, bright highlight trend. Um, again, I but I normally wear, as you can see, I've always worn mine like that anyway. Um, if y'all want to see the full face. <laughs> of the makeup look just go further down i did a full face for 2022 yep so in today's video i am doing a you guessed it a saint patrick's day look now i don't celebrate saint patrick's day but um any excuse to want to wear green is good for me even though my daughter's favorite color is green so i'm pretty sure she's gonna like this look so um I usually don't um, break down all of the products that I use, but I think I'm going to do that. So if you guys head on to my Instagram, you'll see everything I use from um, getting my face together and priming everything I use. And I did show a tidbit of the shadows that I use in the video as well. So if you like this look and this is something that you think that you can rock out and wear, then stay tuned and keep watching. Hey beauty, so like I was saying, this was is this is a uh, St. Patrick's Day look. So I even got all festive y'all and put a little green blush on <laughs> for y'all. And even came out with the green hair. So y'all tell me how y'all like this or whatnot. So to kick off, we're going to use this eyeshadow base to start to prime my eyes with. I'm taking this fluffy Morphe brush. I don't know it wasn't a Morphe brush. It was um, Makeup Is My Life cosmetics brush and um putting on that eyeshadow primer now the foundation that i use on my face is the charlotte tilbury um foundation um it's the hollywood flawless finish foundation and i'll start talking more about that in a few minutes um, well, no, I can talk about it now. <laughs> I thought I was getting ready to add the shadow. Y'all, this has been a long work week. And iMovie, I had this already done. And iMovie decided that it just was not going to act right. So I had to come into CapCut and film this. So y'all bear with me and please forgive me. So I added that Essence Fair um, Concealer. Y'all, I love Essence products. They are very, not only very, very affordable, but they are definitely worth it. I love their products. So let's talk about Miss Charlotte Tilbury. Honey, I ordered the Hollywood Flawless Foundation because it was so hyped up and everyone loved it. It is not a full coverage foundation. It's for people who have like flawless skin and for me, basically people who don't like um, heavy foundation it is beautiful but it is very very radiant and it's not for people like me who have oily combination hormonal I can only use this foundation when I'm in my dry spell and at this particular time I was not in my dry spell my oils were starting to come through honey so I, oh, I'm using my Juvia's Place No Made Palette to start the look the green look so anyway, I was just like really, really, really glowy. So if you're seeing the glow, it's definitely from um, Miss Charlotte Tilbury. I love the foundation. I will be adding it to my professional kit. However, Miss Ma'am needs to make a matte foundation. She needs to make a matte. Now, I can work around it being medium to buildable because, yes, it did cover my dark marks. But Miss Ma'am, she needs to make it um, a matte formula. She needs to make it in matte. And she needs to also change her applicator to a pump because I know I'm not going to get my money's worth. I had to really, you know, like constantly go in. And the doe foot applicator is okay. That would be okay for maybe if you were doing a concealer. But Miss Ma'am needs to add a pump to her um 
her foundation, <laughs> but it's a beautiful foundation. So if I am overly shiny or you notice that I'm overly sparkling, that's because um, Miss Charlotte Tilbury is a, a radiant foundation and she is perfect for those for, for normal to dry skin. So now she needs to make a matte formula for us oily gals <laughs> because I did my thing. I did the, um, you know, adding the, um, the translucent powder to the T-zone and then priming and Miss Ma'am is very, very radiant. So as you can see, I am going into that lighter green color and um, I'm going to be adding that into my crease. If you don't have this palette, you definitely need to get it. I mean, I love the No Me um, palette. Um, and honestly, this is like my second time using this palette, second or third time. I don't usually gravitate toward um, greens. I'll usually gra do those around maybe um, Christmas or maybe um, St. Patrick's Day. But I will be wearing more um color especially now for the spring and summer i'm just a colorful makeup artist in general i just love color don't get me wrong um being natural or neutral is sexy but it's nothing about you know it's something about standing out with bold colors uh, that just makes you stand out is what i love the most about being a makeup artist a lot of people ask me how did I get into the journey of makeup, so I think I'll take the time to talk about it here in this video. I've always been surrounded by makeup from my mother, my grandmother, my aunts. I've always been surrounded, mostly my mother. My mother deceased, she passed away in 2009, and I can tell you that every day of her life, rain or shine, she wore makeup. I learned how to use uh, utilize a lipstick. My mom used lipstick as an eyeshadow, a blush, and a lipstick. So when I see people saying, oh, I can use a lipstick for a blush or I can use a lipstick for an eyeshadow, I'm like, honey, that's been, that's been in. That's nothing new to makeup. There's no new tricks to makeup. It's always been around. So I went into this e.l.f. palette. e.l.f. is another um very affordable brand. And I decided to deepen up my crease with that, that dark green color. And I also had a dark green color that I used. So I went between the Nomad, the Nomad, uh, Nomad, Nomad, I'm sorry, and the e.l.f. palette. So anyway, I always was surrounded by makeup. My mom wore um, Fashion Fair. Fashion Fair is a black-owned brand, and it's completely black-owned. <clears throat> So I always was, um, she wore that a lot. So I, I always would stand there and watch her put on her makeup, her foundation. Now, makeup has evolved a long, long way, especially for us people of color. Because even Fashion Fair, um, Fashion Fair used to have their uh, makeup with a reddish base. And then they reformulated. And now they're back and I can't wait to try them. But Fashion Fair was always the choice. So when I was able to wear um, foundation, I didn't wear Fashion Fair. Um, it was considered a more, ex it was more expensive brand. So think Mac, how Mac is was at that when Mac was at its rage, was Fashion Fair, and I was starting to just wear makeup. So I wasn't allowed to wear really a lot of makeup I didn't wear I wasn't able to wear any eyeshadow or anything so when I did start wearing eyeshadow believe it or not how I wore my makeup before I became a makeup artist was I only wore makeup when I was only going somewhere it was a special occasion and I wore foundation and the foundation that I used to wear was covergirl clean foundation and let me tell you they didn't they did not cater to women of color so here I was a medium tan wearing a beige color makeup so just just imagine that and then i went into pressed powder so i had stopped wearing liquid foundation and i went into pressed powder there i was opening up the window because i am doing this makeup in natural lighting and um i only wore i did mascara and the mascara was the maybelline mascara with the pink top the the old the og mascara from maybelline and i wore um wet and wild had have a lipstick called fuchsia 
So I wore that one or a pink one by Wet n Wild or a um or the brown one. It's like a shimmer brown by Wet n Wild. And I always wore this red. And I'll never forget my cousin clowns me about the red. But I always used to like to wear colors that I stood out in. So even when she said it said it because i you know you know how family members can be people will say oh that red is so pretty on you so pretty on you and then i stopped wearing the red for a while and just started wearing just the brown and the pink i never did my brows and i always had a black or brown eyeliner and i would use the brown eyeliner as a lip liner and i always used to wear this blush and the blush would look natural. It was a pink blush that would look more natural on me. I didn't wear any, I didn't know anything about contour, no highlight, um, no false lashes. I didn't know nothing about that. And basically, I just had one little um, basket that was just with makeup in it. And then when I went to finally buy my first Fashion Fair compact, it was the cream to powder, and that was the only one I ever owned, and that's what I wore. I didn't wear anything else. And then after a while, I stopped wearing makeup. I started, um, because I was, I'm a CNA, and um, it just was like I had a busy lifestyle. I ended up having, you know, I had four kids, really didn't go anywhere, really didn't see the need to wear you know, makeup. So it was just something on the black, on the back, sorry, the back burner for me. My mom continued to wear her makeup every day up until her death. So before she passed away, she asked me why I didn't wear makeup. And I was like, you know, I work in a nursing home. It's busy. I sweat. I don't want to, you know, my face, I'm already dealing with the acne, the oily. I wasn't even into skincare. Noxema was the rage for me and sea breeze and lotion. That was it. So when she passed away, suddenly my mother passed away all of a sudden. So I always tell people to cherish your parents, cherish your mother, because my mom went from saying, you know, what we were going to do when we came chill with her on our two off days to being in shock on our two off days of having to plan a funeral for my mother. So. Um, I started dealing with, I started wearing makeup as a grievance, practicing. An ex-friend had told me about YouTube, and she was like, they do everything on YouTube. So as I was wearing my makeup, and I wasn't the best. If you ever go back and look at some previous videos, you'll see that the makeup that I wore was how it was worn during the time. It was the trend at the time. I started watching YouTube videos, and I entered um, contests. And I started wearing my makeup more and more. And I was like wearing makeup at work. A lot of the residents at the nurse home would tell me, why was I even doing that? I need to, I belong in Hollywood. You, you belong in Hollywood. You know, they were motivating me and saying that, you know, that, you know, that's not your calling. Your calling is doing makeup. And so people would say, oh, you'll do my makeup for me. And so my sister, she had me do her makeup for her for the first concert. I still have that Revlon foundation because it was the darkest foundation to have. That's the only thing they had that would cater to people of color. So you would have to mix it. But let's just say I came a very, very long way. And I ended up becoming a makeup artist, a freelance makeup artist. And as I look back at most of my videos, I'm proud of myself. Because if it wasn't for my mother, who knew what I should have been doing, um, I wouldn't be doing this today and I probably wouldn't wear makeup. And trust me, I don't wear makeup every day. But <laughs> when I do put that 1% on that or that 2%, that 2% is put on, honey. Um, I work every day striving toward, you know, putting myself out there. I'm learning. I'm not um, tech savvy like the young kids are today. I'm learning, you know, wanting to reach out and do collaborations and wanting to um you know get brand deals i was lucky enough to um be on colored rain's pr for a little while the last collection that i did with them was the juicy boost collection and i'm learning you know how to do better in um 
working with brands and what to give them and what to expect. You know, being a makeup artist, a freelance makeup artist, especially here in Louisiana from a small town that I'm in, it's not easy. You can easily want to give up on your dream, but I choose not to because I see the bigger picture for myself. Not only do I do makeup, but I'm also, from the style gossip, I do jewelry. I do custom jewelry. And that came from um, a co-worker was curious about where I was getting my jewelry from. And I was like, well, you know, I'll just, you know, um, give you the link. She was like, no, order it for me. And she paid me. Next thing you know, I had about four co-workers coming in ordering jewelry for me. So I'm very proud of myself from where I'm at. I do work a full-time job. I do still work. But I do try to keep up and work for myself as well. And I believe that I will be there by the end of the year wholeheartedly working for myself. I'm a, I want to become a licensed esthetician and finish my RN because I have another goal for that RN. But I love everything that's skincare. I love everything that's beauty. I love everything that is fashion. I'm very, very open-minded and my brands reflect that. Um, so I'm, like I said, I'm very proud of myself and the growth from where I come from, you know, um, raising four children by myself, becoming a glamour, um, and just being able to just live life. Every day is not a good day for me. You know, if there's days that I don't get any clients, the days that I get a lot of clients and, oh, you know, doing lashes as well. And so I, um, I enjoy doing lashes, especially for those who don't wear makeup, but they want to look put together. I enjoy doing that as well. So I love learning that. I don't mind learning. I watch YouTube videos on, on it. So I'm always, um, you know, looking at ways to perfect my craft. And I'm just going to invest more into it because makeup can evolve. It evolves every day. So I do, um, I have a few makeup artists that I look up to that I really, really admire. Sam Fines, Vanessa Meyer, Riggs, AJ Crimson, and more, um, of today's makeup artists too. Um, I have a few that I'm going to be purchasing their videos from because, you know, we all got to learn. You all got to stay up to date. You got to constantly, constantly learn to, you know, to become the best. And I'm hoping to put my hometown on the map because I see there's a lack of Louisiana makeup artists on there. Besides the late great Kevin O'Quinn, there's not too many that they come and they pick from. But I feel in my heart that I will be where I want to be and where I see myself. That was the Tiana Taylor's uh, collaboration with Mac. And then I put um, Bear Bling on top. That was a Mac collaboration. I think that was with Nicki Minaj, the Bear Bling. As you can see, it darkened it up. And what I did was I was just trying to customize a nude. I didn't like it. I didn't like the way it was on top of Tiana Taylor's. Um, and I wanted that. So I went back in with the Tiana Taylor, and then I went in with an NYX lip gloss, and it came out perfect for me. But like I continue saying, you know, I really want to make my mother proud, you know, uh, showing her that my talent is not going to go to waste. Um, also, that that color is not available, and um, I'm going to see if I can try to find a dupe if anyone is interested. I don't usually tag brands on my um, Instagram, um, that's just something that I, I, I feel like if they want to work with me, um, if, you know, that's like free promotion for me. But then again, um, I had to think about it. They're not going to just up and find me. So, um, I'll be tagging everything that I used in on my Instagram. You can check that out. Yep. So I want my mother to be very proud of me that I'm stepping out of my, um, comfort zone. I've always been different and now it's going to reflect that. So as you can see, I am done with the look. <laughs> Girl, this hair was getting caught on the lashes. The lashes are from my lash line, T. Siobhan Lashes. Those are the new styles to the natural gal lashes. As you can see, those initial earrings, the bracelet, and even the necklaces from my line, um, the style gossip. You can find me on Instagram. I do have a number, a business number that you can text. A lot of people... Um, 
will inquire, but they're not ordering. No, I don't have my Shopify up just yet, but it will be real soon. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate um the love and, you know, the comments or whatnot on my page. I hope to grow. I hope y'all to grow with me and I'll see you guys in the next video.